All right, so we're matching. I'm wearing a purple, but she's wearing purple. <laughs> so we're how many days are we out from the wedding? Bit? We're like less than 80 days, right? Like less than 80 days for the wedding. And so we've been listening to, as you guys probably know, we've been on a keto diet. Well, we try our best to be. Some days it doesn't really work out as well, but we always try to. Yeah, I mean, you know, we always try to get back on track and stuff. So. But we, we we follow the Keto Connect people a lot, and uh, they're pretty cool guys. Um, and if you don't know who they are, they're food bloggers. But they just released a course on like fat loss on Keto. Uh, and so we're pretty excited about that because we're 80 days away from the wedding. It's a 90 day challenge. It's a 90 day challenge. So, just in time. Wait, are we going to do a Keto wedding? Uh, no, no <laughs> keto wedding. <laughs> For a party, like our guests, they're gonna be running to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> running to the bathroom, yeah, that's true. So, uh, we, I want, we wanted to start vlogging the actual, like, our progress through the program. Um, we're pretty excited about it. So, today I want to make the purchase. So, today is, today is prep day. It's not day one, it's just prep day. So, mental prep day. yeah, mental prep day. Mental prep day. Um, so this is a program, and uh, they got a pretty elaborate course. It's not that expensive, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Matt and Megan, right? That's her name, Megan. I hope that's her name. If you watch this one day. You know it's all you guys. That's a card. Let's check out the card. Check out. Hey. We're getting married. Yes. Well, technically, we're already married. Uh, we're getting married again. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a wedding. Yes. So, why, like me personally, why I'm starting this challenge? Yes. Okay. Well, I have several reasons. One, um, the food. Yes. No. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> um, well, my one of the reasons, and it's very like vain, I guess, is that my dress has a low back. Oh wait, you should know that. But I think I knew that. Then you don't know that. <laughs> it has a low back. And it's not that I have like, like a lot of fat, but definitely like fat does accumulate. Like I do have some like back rolls. So um, like that is one of the areas that I would really want to work out. And I've been saying this since November when I got the dress, <laughs> but it hasn't happened. Two, um, I definitely do see a change. Like yesterday, we went to to get pizza with some friends. After the pizza, I felt like really big, and I've noticed it as like my menstrual cycle changes and stuff like that. Like whenever I'm on keto and I'm not eating as much sugar, I am like my hormones are like more at ease and I'm more calm rather than when I have sugar. Like the week before um, my la my last like period, we had like a bunch of like stuff. My grandma was here, so she was making us like a lot of stuff too. So it was a little bit crazy, and I do feel that difference. So definitely like going on keto has helped me with that, and just eating more healthy. And then the third reason is this guy right here. I feel like um, whenever he does, <laughs> like no, it's true. I, like whenever he's doing like a diet, like I can help out within some ways and make food. Like I'm usually like more in charge of making dinner and stuff. But um, I make breakfast. He makes breakfast, yes, and amazing breakfast. He's in charge of that for the rest of his life. He doesn't know yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I accept that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, except when I make pancakes, I guess, right? Oh, see, she's um, a pancake queen. Yeah, so definitely like making food that is like for both of us helps, but it's also like I like being that support. So for him to be able to keep this diet going and me being able to help out with that, I. I like that personally like I feel like I'm up for the challenge and it like it benefits me as well so, so on the days 
when it's hard, what's going to keep you going? When it's hard for me, you're going to keep me going. <laughs> this is a 200% challenge. Like, it's giving my 100% and whatever percentage you need. And vice versa, because I'm probably going to be like, no, babe, I hate tracking. I've never been on a diet. I hate tracking. I'm like, Ugh we really need to weigh the food like let's just eat whatever we think that we should be eating and that's it so i'm a little like already with that part but at the same time the the girl that's doing this megan right is her name mm -hmm. or mega i'm not sure uh, yeah i think it's mega mega right okay so um she said that she's the same way that she doesn't really like tracking and she was able to do it so i'm like okay well that, here's the thing it's like it's only 90 days you yeah know? Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, with me, knowing that it has an end date, even though it might be, like, after the wedding. we will probably end before the yeah, wedding, Yeah, I think right? we'll probably end a little sooner, but still. Yeah, um, it, it's okay. And, like, I do like tracking. Like, I do like organizing and stuff. So I'm excited about having, like, that Excel sheet and kind of putting in there, like, our daily, like, updates. So it is going to be a challenge. Like, you think me thinking of it, like, it's a challenge. It has an end date. And we're going to see the progress. Like, I'm excited about that. Yeah. So photos, for sure. Photos are going to help yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, I guess, like, I've just been really trying to be on, like, a mission just to kind of eat healthier and be healthier and stuff like that. And I don't know, for the longest time, like, I can't really seem to get out of, like, this. Like, the lowest that I've been able to weigh was, like, 170. And... Like, that's still, I'm still technically overweight. Like, my body fat percentage is over, like, 30%, which is technically, like, really, really bad. You can't really tell, but it, it's really bad for my body. So, um, I don't know. I've always just kind of, I've always tried, but, um, I don't know. I always just kind of fall short. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, you know, with the wedding and motivation and the right actual program to help us get there, I think... Um, I think we'll be able to do it and I think it's just a matter of kind of keeping both of our, ourselves accountable because sometimes we are just like oh my god like I want a burger or I want some pizza or something but my thing too is like since we both work from home it's kind of hard for me to like separate like okay this is work time and and stop thinking about like house chores or house like like we need to make dinner and what do we need and going grocery shopping and it's just time that I haven't really, like, like I, it's not that I don't like it, it's just that sometimes I don't have it. So having that, like, okay, it's already, like, a scheduled, like, Yeah, program. a scheduled thing. Yeah. I, I think that'll definitely help. And just, I think at the overall, what it is, it's, like, being intentional. And so I think that's what's really going to be the big thing. Of course, I want to look really good for my wedding. Um, so I'm excited about that. Yes, right. And, um just you know and your stomach yeah and, and i guess just like the stomach thing has always been an issue I always had problems with my stomach to the point where sometimes i can't sleep or or you know i wake up and i can't go back to sleep stuff like that so hopefully you know definitely feel better also just for productivity reasons just being able to get to like the next level physically and then how that affects like performance and at work and stuff mental performance um That's so yeah true. i'm excited about that as well and really just being able to finally break that plateau and just kind of get to like a next level with my body and stuff um so yeah i've been it, it's been something that i've been struggling with since like when i got more serious about it i think i was like 22 maybe or 23 and i've always kind of just fluctuated i never got beyond like that threshold so i'm hoping this will be it <laughs> And that's it. All right, so there you go. We're going to eat. We already bought the course. And we're going to start watching some videos and stuff. We'll update you guys as we go along. Right now, we're going to eat. Look at this. <laughs> Doesn't that look crazy good? And it's completely sugar-free. It's sugar-free. It's, it's keto. Very low carb. Yeah, low carb as well. And very Boom, high protein. With some bacon. Yeah. Do you want, like... Bacon bits, bits in between like the stacks. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing I am I'm, I'm looking forward to. I do like cooking, so having having new recipes to try is always pretty cool. See, all right, so we'll check you guys out later, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.
What's up, everybody? Today is May the 21st. It's on Monday. It was the first day of our deeper, deeper state keto um, program, fat loss challenge. And damn, it was intense. It was an intense day, but today's pretty much the end of the day. I wanted to make this video a little earlier, but God, it was just so crazy. And we wanted to shoot pictures in the morning and stuff like that. We didn't get to do that. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. Right now we're making dinner and oh, we just what finished did we, making dinner. We just finished, Billy just finished making dinner. Billy, what, what was on the menu? For Today is the burger good. bowl that Keto Connect um, suggested. So we modified it a little bit based on our macros. Um, and yeah. we actually have like our, our menu. Our macros right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's our menu. To hit our macros. I saved like my a, a little bit of my quarter cup of cheese just to put on top. <laughs> nice. And then this one, this is mine right here. Wait. So yeah. Um. So just doing some recaps for today, as far as like how I felt, and then we'll be able to talk about how I felt. So we're doing the diet right now is eighty percent fat. Um, eighty percent fat, and so I'm doing two tablespoons of butter in my coffee, one tablespoon of MCT oil. Um, so my like, I had my coffee, and then maybe like an hour later, I felt a little queasy. <laughs> so I think that might just be my body getting used to like processing the fat. Um. When you first start a keto diet, that's one of the things you're going to struggle with. Your body is just not used to processing so much fat. And then on top of that too, yesterday we kind of like went out all out. We had like burgers and all this other stuff just because we weren't going to have that for such a long time. So, but not good burgers. But not good burgers. <laughs> that, I mean, they were still good. We had burgers. We had water well, I mean, burger. But, it's but a good it, burger, but, but I it was mean, good. like with the bun and everything, like not keto burgers. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Like definitely not keto. Yesterday we cheated hardcore. Um, so I think our stomach too is just a little weirded out and, uh, we're trying to get back into it. Billy couldn't finish her, her keto coffee today. She kind of struggled with it a little bit, felt a little weird throughout the day. And it was just such a crazy day that we didn't end up having breakfast till like 5 PM. Right? Insane. Insane. Right. No but wonder I, we felt yeah, but no one. So, but what's funny, what was funny was that I actually felt like I wasn't hungry, like I wasn't like tired, like my mind was like sharp, like I was on point. And um which is pretty interesting. I don't know if that just partly that had to do with like my bulletproof coffee, but then also with like all the calories we had yesterday as well. So, I don't think that's something that will, that is pretty sustainable. <laughs> For sure we don't want to be eating that late. We want to be eating anywhere from like at 1 2 p.m. latest. To have our first meal yeah um so we're gonna try to shoot for that as much as we can and uh we'll let you guys know how we go so i had that and then i had breakfast and then afterwards i just knocked out like i knocked out for like how long for like an hour and a half or something it was an hour and a half. an hour no yeah like an hour uh, yeah i think but, I, mean, I knocked it, it on the couch <laughs> yeah but i mean that's not unusual because you did have like a pretty hectic morning and usually when you have like, I had, like meetings. five meetings today yeah, when he has a lot of meetings he ends up like you know just dead so yeah. i don't i don't know if you can like relate that to the diet yeah so sure. so right now i'm i'm a little i'm wondering if because right now my the, the 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 our breakfast does have like a good amount of protein in it and um like it's still more fat in that meal but it's it's really close so i'm wondering if because i'm having a little bit more protein in my breakfast if that's gonna make me a little bit more tired but I don't know. As of day one, I still don't know because it was such a crazy day. Plus, we ate super late. So, granted, I'm just tired in general. But I guess uh, tomorrow I'm, we're going to evaluate that again and see how we do. Um, if if I am getting tired after my breakfast, it might mean that I, I'm having too much protein in breakfast. So, I'm going to try to like put that somewhere else during the day. Um, 
or try to add more fats into that. Um, so, and then we're about to have dinner right now. I feel pretty good, like, pretty much just kind of the, the same. Like, I don't think this is very challenging. Like, our portions are, are pretty good right now. So, what do you think, babe? How is, what about you? What was your review for the day? How do you My feel? My review for the day. Well, it, it's because, it, like what you said, like, there's so many variables that today wasn't, like, a regular day in that sense. But, because, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm used to intermediate fasting. Do you want me to? Sure. <laughs> He's already <laughs> digging in. Um, I'm already kind of used to, like, the intermediate fasting because I don't really, like, um eat that much in the morning i usually just have coffee and even so like i don't really have coffee until like mid-morning um but today in particular like i had a couple of things to do in the morning that like i couldn't really sit at my desk till like maybe after 11 so so that's when i started drinking my coffee and to me it was just too much like uh, i don't like i don't know it wasn't just like it just made the, the coffee so much stronger and then he you added salt to it right and i ha i wasn't like really used to it i don't know if maybe like the coffee yeah because being... the coffee i mean this is the the portions i gave you were the same portions i usually do oh, okay i don't know what it was then um but maybe yeah to me salt. to me it was like really really strong and uh my the moment like i would just sip it like i could just feel my stomach like like it was like a bomb like it was just so heavy on it um so i ended up finishing drinking my coffee till like like maybe three or four in the afternoon you did finish it i almost almost yeah. Oh, yeah yeah that's true almost but i would have to force myself for it and that was just because i knew that i mean i hadn't eaten anything and it was just such a crazy day um meeting after a meeting and all this stuff so um i knew we weren't gonna be able to eat till later so I did force myself to drink as much as I could. Um, the good thing though <laughs> was that because I had to force myself to drink it too, I did come to the kitchen like a couple of times during the day just like drinking more water than I usually do. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, me too. I drank, I drank a lot of water. So and Betty actually needs to work on drinking a little bit more water, so it's good that you did. So. <laughs> I have been. I have been working on it, so I think I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Like honestly, with this guy here, like it's like either you drink water or he'll finish all of the water. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it's true. true. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that was that was that, and so um, I did start like once he um because we made breakfast and that was really really good, so. After breakfast, though, I was really hungry. Like, we had just eaten, but I was really hungry, and I started feeling queasy, and it was, like, those times where I'm, like, a really long time on the computer, and I haven't eaten. Like, I started feeling, like, kind of queasy, even, like, a little bit, like, nauseous, and I just couldn't wait till dinner. <laughs> but I forced myself just to finish what we had to do, and then just starting, like, making dinner and the scents and everything, like, I was just like, okay. So right now, uh, I'm good. I'm just like craving this and this guy's already blowing at it. Like he didn't even wait for me. What the heck? All right, we're gonna eat. <laughs> Peace out. So we're gonna eat 13 Reasons Why or what? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, catch you Bye. guys tomorrow. Wow. Uh, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday morning, which <laughs> is the third day of our third keto. day deeper steak keto diet yesterday was pretty good yesterday was definitely better than day one because mm -hmm. we had breakfast like around two instead <gasps> of 5 p.m like monday <laughs> <laughs> so on monday since we had a 5 p.m like i i felt real tired so i was wondering if i sh if i had enough fat in my breakfast but no yesterday i had breakfast around two and then I felt pretty good. I didn't feel tired after breakfast. So maybe I'm, I'm okay as long as I don't eat super late. I don't know. At the same time, though, like I had a meeting right after. So I probably had like adrenaline rush and all that stuff. Well, that's true. <laughs> so I don't know. Today, we don't we have a meeting just at three and that's it. So we'll see. Um, today, we wanted to go to the gym just to get a quick cardio in should be super short and that's okay yeah. um now some now and then yesterday we had a burger bowl as well so i had it mine i had mine like around 8 i think 8 p.m it was like nine ish 
Yeah, so I think overall I felt a little bit better. I didn't feel as queasy when I took my morning coffee or when I had my fat bond. They were definitely a lot easier to, to digest. Uh, we're counting all our macros on our one of our apps. Oh, and then, okay, so I, on Monday I weighed 181, and then yesterday I weighed 176. And today? I don't know. I haven't weighed myself today, yeah. but we'll give you an update. But it's hilarious because... I, I I got on the machine on the on the scale. I'm sorry. And at first it was 179, and I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, we need a new. And then I and then I got on it again. It was 178. I was like, okay, cool. Again, 177. Again, 176. Again, 176. Again, 175. And then again, 176. <laughs> Just messing with you. I know. So I don't know where I'm at today. It will be interesting. I won't I won't be surprised if it's more just because um our our scale is just weird. I did end up buying another one though last night. Oh you did? No. See. The one that I got is pretty legit because supposedly you can also get your BMR, BMI, your fat body fat mm -hmm. percentage and all this other stuff and it has a mobile app. Oh, it's pretty shit. cool. See. Damn. Um, so updates for today. I woke up and I do feel like a little bloated from my stomach, like just like a little weird. Not like not like bad, like I don't feel bad, but just I can just feel like something there. I don't know if it was just that I, I ate too late, but I don't know. Then again, yesterday I didn't feel like this and we ate around the same time, right? We ate like around eight or nine. Mm -hmm. And we even ate even later. How do you feel? I feel okay. Uh, actually, oh, I feel hungry. Yeah, you feel like hungry. I've been thinking about food since last night. <laughs> I've been thinking about those brownies that are still there. We should just get those brownies to buy them. I did. I told her to eat them all. There's also cheesecake, keto cheesecake, but there's still cheesecake in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, we should give that away too. Uh, <sighs> so, yeah, I've been thinking about those. I know. But yesterday, I don't know. Um, yesterday, my coffee was a lot better than Monday's. True. Uh, oh, but ayer. Sorry, guys. Oh, so tired. <laughs> but oh, ayer, for some reason, um, yeah, I was more hungry than usual. Like, I don't know if, like, it's also, like, based on activities, you know, like, it was a little bit mm -hmm. more, like, mind powering. I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I'm hungry. Same. And, and, um, we're going to start, I think, just increasing your macros a little bit, so. Sí? I think next week. Pero no dicen de que, like, as the, as the, as the process goes, like, there's, like, less calories for them every week? So, I did want to do at least just one week of onboarding for you. So, that's what I, that's the macros that I was giving you. Oh, sneaky. Sí. But was, I mean, you know, as you can tell, everything's the same, just the size is a little bit smaller. Yeah. But it's still 80% body fat. I mean, I'm sorry, not body fat, 80% <laughs> fat. Fat. Same. Yeah. Uh, so today we're still in bed. I don't know if I mentioned that already, or if you could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, the Monday and Tuesday were actually just really hectic for us. So today was was pretty, ch pretty chill. And man, yeah, it's been pretty intense. So today we're just going to. Try to relax a bit, still get some work in. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we're excited for today. Get our macros in, so do some weight. We're going to hit the gym. So today I wanted, I don't know if, if the reason I feel like this is maybe just also I did change something in the diet where I put two tablespoons of sugar cream instead of one. Sugar cream? Sour cream, my bad, not sugar cream. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sour cream. Two tablespoons of sour cream. So sugar. maybe it was that that did change, or maybe just um, I don't want to say it's a sprinkling water. I don't want to say it's mineral well, water, also but maybe. I think that maybe you have might have put a lot of spinach in yours. That too, I was thinking um, that. But oh, he packed up like it says four cups, but he packed up four cups of spinach like. Casi se acabó todo el bote, and I don't think that was the right amount. But for you, for you, I, I did, I did weigh it. 
Yeah, yeah, but for you, I'm saying oh, that maybe okay. that's why you're a little bit bloated or feeling like that's like, true weird because you had like the por si like spin spinach is already like like bloats you a little bit just because it's greens, you know, it has yeah. a lot of fiber, so it already does. But if you actually packed four cups, that's a lot, because like the 120 grams, it's just like one cup packed of spinach. One. Really? Yeah. Nah. I I measured it yesterday, not yesterday, the day before. I measured it. Really? Same. Because I feel like, I feel like when I was putting, I, when I was weighing it, the one twenty grams on a bowl, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot. It was a lot, but I packed it up like because I didn't want to like use too many cups, mm. so I was just packing it all up on that like the the huge ass um, measuring cup we have, the one that it's like two cups in there. Same. So yeah. Bueno. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll let you guys know. Why are we so dark, though? Because the clouds. Oh, clouds. Yeah. All right, we'll keep you guys posted today. Peace. Peace. Okay, so I'm about to weigh myself again. I already weighed myself twice. The first one I got was 176. <laughs> nah, that's because I'm holding the camera. Oh, I need to hold, hold the camera. The camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me get in there. It's because I wait. At first, I was at one seventy eight, and then, and then, no, at one seventy six, and then it dropped to one seventy four, and then, uh, and then. It gave me 174 twice, actually. Yeah. Oh. Where is that? 174. See? <laughs> you. Nice. All right. That's it. What's up, everybody? Ah, no, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> Is this an Arable video? This is an Arable video. This is a Billy and Luis video. Woo! Alright, so we didn't get to do this one on this camera in the morning, but we're doing it now. Today's day four of the Deeper State Keto uh, program. Thursday. Thursday. And today was actually a really good day. I think today we really did a good job of getting like our macros are on point. And Billy has been feeling better. Yes. A bit. Yes, so much better. Yesterday I was so hungry. It's not even funny. Today I've been better. So I pretty much got her on my calories, and I think for the most part, <laughs> that's pretty accurate. She kind of you do you do eat eat as much as I do. I eat a lot. Yeah. People don't believe me because I'm skinny, but I mean, I like Same. food. So I think that's well. Overall, it's a good thing. I think. So what we decided to do was that we added a lot, uh, some more butter to our breakfast. And now when I have my breakfast, I did not feel tired at all. So um, I'm going to try it again tomorrow and hopefully it stays consistent. So then I found out that I need to have more fats in my breakfast so I don't get tired, which is pretty awesome. Uh, today um, he made my coffee, which I make it a little bit different because he's is just espresso, right? Yeah. And then mine is just regular coffee and a shot of espresso, which was really good. No sé qué le pusiste, but it was awesome. My love. Ah. Uh, so right now we're dinner, uh, and then we're actually making dinner right now. So we're going to make our, our burger bowls, and it's time. We need to switch it. Switch it, baby. So these are really easy to make. Um, all, it's just really the meat, we don't put anything in it. And then we just put salt and pepper once we're actually cooking it. Can you put salt and pepper on top right now? Want this one? Same. Yeah. And then on these, uh, we just put uh, some cheese, we put pickles, we, we're going to cook up some spinach, um, some tomatoes, it's really good. 
some sour cream. Honestly, it's actually really, really good. So we've been eating them um, these bowls like all week, and I'm still not sick of them. Like, yeah, me I can either. Still have some more of these. I mean, today we're gonna, or I'm gonna change it up a bit. But we've been adding or taking off stuff because the first time you didn't have sour cream, and the second day you did. Yeah. And then the third day we add pickles and took off some stuff. So kind of balances it out. There's just so many ways that we can do yeah. this. We went shopping today and we were able to get the, the oh, Vega the uh, electrolyter, electrolyte hydrator, <laughs> which is good. Oh, we uh, got some macadamia nuts. We got some macadamia there, nuts. There's this um, recipe with um, like to, to make a macadamia latte and I'm so excited. Can we do that tomorrow? Yeah. I'm so excited for that one. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we got this one. No, wait. It's not it. We got some more pickles. I was going to show the pesto and stuff, but I don't know where you put it. Oh, I put it in the fridge. Oh, it's in the fridge. Yeah. I, did it. I don't think it made both in the fridge. No? We got some tomato paste. We're gonna make a uh, chicken crust pizza tomorrow. Wait, are we no, doing that tomorrow? No, we're doing the fat head pizza. Oh, fat head pizza. Okay. Yeah. I'm really excited to try the chicken one. See, I think just that one has too much protein. That's why. It's This is for the pizza, right? Yeah. Yeah. And pizza then we got some ranch you. too. Show the ranch. Oh yeah. We, we got the primal, <laughs> primal kitchen. It's supposed to be a good, a good brand. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Some avocado oil. Qué rico. This is mm. gonna be really good. Um. What else? And. Some more spinach. Yeah. got some more cheese. Oh, we got a couple of new Ooh, of yeah, we got some good stuff to try. Yeah. A quick update, Billy today weighed 180, one, 108, yeah. and I weighed 173. What's up? From 181 to 173. That's pretty good. That is really good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not calculate that well. All right, um, so. so we have been uh, having these, which are beef. They are really good. I really like how they taste. We've been uh, adding some of these to our breakfast eggs. They're so good. But then we saw some of these at uh, Sprouts. This one is spinach and feta. That looks good. Yeah. Can I try them? And it's really good. I mean, it has 12 grams of protein. Um, Eat fat, right? Yeah, zero sugar. One is just one carb and eight grams of fat. Yeah, I'm really excited about really the good. other one, though. This one? Oh, this one sounds awesome. Uh, apple Gouda. What's up? Damn, yeah, so I'm good. excited. It has more these. sugar, but I think I'm, I'm still sold. Yeah, it has three grams of sugar, but and it has three grams of carbs, twenty-one grams of fat. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, it has a lot of fat, which we thought, yeah, why not? It's like the ratio on it, the nutrient and the ratio is. It's right really good. good. Yeah. yeah. So we're excited about those. Yeah. And then today we got a lot of sodium a too, so that I guess that's good, right? I think so. Yeah. Today we got. Can you hold it while I yeah. get it? What is it gonna go get? I'm excited about this one. <laughs> let's see. Let's check up on this burger. Oh, so it's looking pretty well already. I think I'm just gonna add the spinach in a bit. Boom. Oh. Today we got our fancy new scale. What? what? This is supposed to be really legit scale. It cost us like 40 bucks on Amazon. But it has a mobile app and everything. And it's supposed to also tell us like our BMR, our body fat percentage, our water weight, a bunch of other stuff too on the mobile app. So I'm pretty excited about giving it a try tomorrow morning. I mean, we're gonna try it tonight, but tomorrow morning is when we'll get more accurate kind of measurements. And I'm also excited to see if I'm actually at 173 because the, the weight that we have, the scale that we have right now what if I need to focus is just kind of sucks. You need to just tap on the screen where you want to focus. Oh, okay. Sorry, you're going to have to say about So We're trying it tonight. So we're going to try it tonight, but I'm excited to see if tomorrow I actually weigh the same or more 
because the scale that we have right now is pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it works out. It's gonna be that. interesting to see that. But yeah, so far it's going good. We have oh, focus, focus on me, camera. Okay, I have four things to say. Oh, yeah. So we have here our um, menu and stuff, so that's really helpful. We do switch it a little bit here and there, but that's good. And then we also have our shopping list, which it helps a lot. Let me actually turn it around. So, yeah. So we do a couple of different um, stores uh, just to get the best prices and best stuff. So we do HEB because we're in Texas. We do Sprouts, Walmart, and some stuff on Amazon. So, I feel that's pretty good. It's a good combo to get the best. Ready? Yeah. So, is there anything else about it? Uh, no. I think that's it. Stay tuned. And uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Yes. Bye.